Hello, hello, hello. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hi, I'm Rochelle Emerson. Welcome to the channel. We're going to take a look at why Green is so outraged. Okay? So outraged over the spending bill. So let, let, let's see what, why is she so uh, ticked off and just outraged? Uh, good morning, everybody. Wanted to come on and talk to you about what's happening and why I'm not in Washington today, why most members of Congress left town yesterday, and uh, why we're not doing anything for the American people. So September 30th, I'm sure you've seen all over the news, September 30th is the funding deadline that Congress has to finish all of our appropriation bills, finish our budget, and fund the government. And... Um, we aren't getting that done. And it's very frustrating to all of us, every single one of us that we're not getting that done. But I'm particularly frustrated today. Uh, we went home for August recess. We should. Okay, so she's frustrated. <laughs> all across the country, we the American people has elected all of these officials to be to be there to uh, manage things and they always they always wait to the last minute it's kind of like your kid needing a project and then he like tells you uh, oh it's due tomorrow and I need all this stuff uh, my son did that years ago he's grown now by the way but uh, that that happened uh, so why why are they taking so long? Why now? Why They could have had plenty of money if they hadn't sent billions to Ukraine, right? Should have stayed in Washington working to get our appropriation bills done, but we didn't. We went on August recess and that's when we're supposed to go back to our districts and get work done in our districts. That's what we did. But we should have stayed in Washington and funded the government and gotten all the work done, hammering out the details. Oh. I am a body expert. That means that I trust. But we have 12 separate appropriation bills. We only had one pass before we went home in August. Now we have 11 left. We'll I mean, these are the people that voted themselves raises. Do you think they're going to vote themselves term limits? And they can make a career. How can you make a career out of politics? They sure seem to be able to find a way. I mean, you can look at, at Biden, all his homes. How did, how did he get that on being a senator's salary? Yeah, you can buy real estate and resell, but come on. Come on. Come on. I mean... It is just insanity. It's insanity. They vote themselves, raises. Oh, and, and then they've got the best health care. They've got the best health care. They, they are not going to do without, okay? And then they can have the most best vacations, too, by the way. Well, yesterday, in case you didn't see the news or don't know what happened, while President Zelensky from Ukraine was in Washington begging for more American people's taxpayer dollars, while our border is being invaded at record levels, and while the Biden administration has welcomed everyone to America illegally, we did not, we were not able to get our bills done. So yesterday they decided to bring the defense bill to the floor. And I want to be very clear with all of you. All week long, as a matter of fact, all year long, I have told every single one of my colleagues, I have told the press, I have told my district, I've posted on social media a thousand times, I am not voting for one single penny to go to a war in Ukraine. I am, I'm America first. I work. Well, also the thing is too, when they, when they grab these bills and this is, this is, did not happen overnight. They'll shove a whole bunch of different stuff into one bill. Okay, let's say the bill is, the main thing is, let's send money to Ukraine. But then the, the you know, the other side wants, well, we want some stuff too. And then, then they'll throw it all in. So they go, okay, th this, that's how they deal. 
well, if you give us this, we'll let you have that. So they, they bundle all this up, you know, and then, and then it's like stacked this high and nobody's reading it. I mean, we've all, we all know this. We all know this. It's, it's insanity. The border did not happen overnight. We've been dealing with this for decades, right? We've been dealing with this for decades. Yeah, it did get under control. You have to admit whether you like Trump or not. He did get a handle on the border. Oh, and by the way, about the border. So he built so many walls, right? You had these, all these guys, these companies, you know, bidding on to how they're going to build it, you know, and all this good stuff. Well, there was supplies to build more wall there, right, at the border. As soon as Biden took over, they sold all the extra all the extra materials, building materials that they needed to continue to continue to build the wall. It's that is just insane, unheard of. Oh, but they don't have any money. So where'd that money go? They sold this stuff. <laughs> I don't know how much it was, but still, I mean, money's money, right? That's how that's how families look at it. For Pete's sake. I work for the United States of America. I work for the American people. Our border is being overrun and we have a president in the United States and an administration that is happy and fine with open borders and is bringing in more illegal aliens into America than we can possibly handle. New York Biden's happy and fine. I, I don't know. Look. Biden's happy and fine. I don't think Biden maybe knows where he wakes up in the morning. And I'm not trying to be funny. I mean, it's sad. It's sad. We all know. We all know. I mean, he was in a, a, a Hispanic meeting and he, and he calls him the Black Caucus or whatever he called him. I mean, he, it's, just, it's just so sad. I mean, it's, you can't. At some point, it's just not funny anymore. Yeah, his gaffes were funny in the past. But right now, it's like, you know, he could be, you know, anybody's grandfather or father or mother can be suffering from from uh, some kind of um, Alzheimer's or whatever, whatever the case may be, right? So, who's running the country? Who's fine with all this? What What's the deal here? I mean, because we know... He's not. He's not running the country, people. He's not. So who is? All these people around him. They go and grab him and get him off the stage when he starts rambling on. I mean, it's so obvious. I I don't know what. I I can't even fathom why this is even happening and we're having this conversation that the pre, that everybody knows he's not running the country, which which is unheard of, just unheard of. New York is being crushed. Texas has been crushed for a long time. California, Arizona, Georgia, Alaska, you name it, all over the country, these illegal aliens are coming into our country. So they bring a defense bill to the floor yesterday that had $300 million for Ukraine in it. I told them all week long, I'm not voting for $300 million for Ukraine. Take the money out, put it in a separate bill if you want to, and then I can vote no, other members can vote no, and if you people want to vote to send more money, more American tax dollars to a war in Ukraine, then you vote yes for it. But I'm not doing it. And they didn't listen. They didn't respect me. They didn't respect other members that were saying the same thing. They need to respect the people. Why don't we start having public votes, like national, a national vote, if we should send money somewhere. Now, maybe you're like, well, that's kind of crossing the line, maybe because there's reasons why we need to go and, and help this country because this country is going to take their resources or whatever the case may be. I, I understand it, right? So, but, I mean, really? Do we need to be sending them billions of dollars? Really? Where, where's everybody else at? Where's the rest of the world? Where's everybody else at with all this money? Nope. And not only are we just sending money to them, we're sending money to all different countries. 
All different countries are getting money. They're giving Mexico money, El Salvador, all of these other countries are getting buku money. It is insanity how much money. And it's, it's the American people's money. The government doesn't have money. It's your money. It's the American people's money that's being spent and not being spent on what needs to be taken care of. Infrastructure, border security, police forcing. So they brought the defense bill, the defense appropriation bill, which, by the way, is largely a very good bill. A bill that I want to vote for without the Ukraine money. I would love to vote for that bill without the Ukraine money. But no, they didn't take it out. So they brought it to the floor for a vote, and I voted no to the rule. I voted no to the rule. And so guess what? It didn't pass. The rule did not pass, and the bill couldn't be brought to the floor. So we couldn't even pass the appropriations bill. And then they called me and said, Marjorie, will you vote for it if we take it out? I said, that's what I have been saying all week. Mavavi video oh, editor is a powerfully have been saying, take it out and I will vote for it. Take the money out and I will vote for it. But they didn't respect me and they didn't respect other people. So they didn't respect the American people. And they still brought it to the rule to the floor. <clears throat> Anyways, <clears throat> so here we are. So I'm at home. Other members of Congress are at home, some are in Washington, and we're again not getting anything done, and we have the September 3rd. And some are in La La Land, some don't even care. I mean, we all know who the ones that don't care. 30th funding deadline coming up. Now here's, here's my issue. This is what I don't understand. Just because there are members in our conference that are in red districts, and they really want to send money to Ukraine, but they don't want their districts to know that they voted to send money to Ukraine, or they don't want to get beat up about it, doesn't mean that I have to commit the sin with them. You see, I don't have to vote yes and cover up the garbage, the America last garbage that they want to do just to help them get by with it. That's them piling all the bills because each side wants something out of it. So let's stick it all, let's just shove it all in there. And, and they need to stop that. I, I wish they would pass a bill that would stop that. One thing at a time, right? Let's like do a ginormous snack and this, uh, you know, la, 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 here's a trillion dollars for the year. And that's where I'm really angry this morning. So I don't really care what anyone has to say at this point. You sent me home yesterday. You disrespected my views. You disrespected America's views. You disrespected everybody that is sick and damn tired of funding foreign wars while our border is being invaded. Guess what? There's some, there's some uh, news this morning. Here's how bad it is. Not only are thousands and thousands of people flooding in to Eagle Pass, Texas, the Biden, the Biden DHS, this is news out. I just read this. They, they let 200,000 illegal immigrants, they didn't let them in the country by, by, by a train, like you saw the videos of the trains coming through Mexico. No, we that wasn't it. That. They didn't come up through buses that the cartels own coming to our border and then running across the border. No, 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 no. 200,000 flew into our country. They came by plane. They bought a plane ticket from their home country, and they flew into 43 cities. And I am actually surprised that she's even saying this, and uh, wow. Guess what? Here's... Here <coughs> That's just crazy. Here's the kicker. You're not going to believe this. It, it happened on an app that the Biden administration has. They were able to come in our country illegally by registering on a Biden administration app. Wow. That's how they did it. This is how damn bad it is. We have people coming in, planes, trains, automobiles, and boats, illegally invading America. And we have members of Congress that are so dead set on a war in Ukraine. You know what I think should happen? 
I don't know. Texas, New Mexico. Now we know California ain't gonna ain't gonna do what I'm fixing to say, but uh, why don't the governors of these states say, "Boom, get get the National Guard and close up their own border." Now the federal government is probably gonna go, "Well, we're gonna just cut you off." Right, because they want to protect their own borders. I don't know. Maybe they can say, hey, we don't want your money. We're done. Dig, uh, drill your own oil in, in, uh, in Texas. Be self-sufficient. I mean, I know all of this is probably easier said than done, of course. But why not? Why not police your own border? That's why you have a National Guard, right, for emergencies? If this is such an emergency, which you're, look at New York. New York, man, they're, 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 you know, protesting in the streets. We can't sustain this. Even the mayor's like, hey, this is going to destroy the city. And then you see all the, the, the illegals all lined up, and, and they all got cell phones. Where did they get these cell phones? At the same time, drugs are coming in. Our own people are taking these drugs. They all look like zombies, and it's just ridiculous. But anyway, there you go. Like and subscribe, and have a great day.